Okay, so question C was as follows. The marks obtained by third learners in mathematics tests were as follows. Uh, so uh, the, 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 the table that is showing the marks is on the left side of the screen in the corner there. As you can see, there is 45, 42, 46, 25, 57, 39, 12, 55, 20, 37, 40, 59, 11, 38, 34, 22, 62, 33, 48, 43, 57, 37, 43, 51, 29, 41, 35, 66, 45, 32. Those were the marks. Okay. So the first question is the one which is on top there, which is complete the frequency table below. So you can see the frequency table here. As well as we have got question C2, which is what is the model class? Now let's start with the question one, which is in paper on top there, which is complete the frequency table below. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for the max ranging between 10 and 19. Then second, we're going to look for the max ranging between 20 and 29. Then we are going also to look for marks that are ranging between 30 and 39, then 40 and to 49, uh, 50 to 59, and 60 to 69. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be going to the uh, marks which we have obtained. We tick the mark and then we write the tally here. Right? Okay, so let's go. We are looking for marks that are ranging between 10 and 19. So when you go off, on the first row there, you find that there is no mark that has, uh, that is between 10 and 19. When you come in the second row, you will see that the first number is 12. So 12, the one I've ticked in red there. So we have ticked, we have found one, and then we're going to put a tally here. Okay. Then we go through that. In that row, we just have 12. We come to in the third row. In the third row, we have got 11, so I'm going to tick it with the same color, which is red. So I've got 11 there, so I'm going to put a tally here as well. Okay, then in third row, that is only 11, which is there. Uh, fourth row, there is none, and 20, uh, fifth row, there is none as well. So there are only two marks that are ranging between 10 and 19. Okay, so we go to the second which is we look for marks which are ranging between 20 and 29. So let's go on the first row there. On the first row, we have 25 there, which is here, the one of marked in purple. And then we put a tally down here, which is in purple. So when I tick, in, when I tick a mark there, here on the frequency table, I'm coming to put a tally, one tally, okay? Then we come in the second row. As you have noted that uh, the number that is ranging between the number that is between 20 and 29 is only 25 so we have ticked it it's only one so we come in the second row in the second row we have got uh, 20 we tick it we come here again we put a tally okay then we have also in the third row we have got 22 so we give it a tally again then in the fourth row we don't have in the fifth row we have got 29 and we also put a tally here okay as you can see that is the only numbers that are between 20 and 29 so we go to numbers that are between 30 and 39 so in the first row there we have 39 at the end there 39 so we put a tally here okay we come in the second row we have 37 we tick it and we also put a tally here. Okay, we come in the third row, we have got 38. We tick it and we put a tally here. Okay, we also have 34 there, the next to 38. So we're going to tick it and we also put a tally here. We have also 33 at the end there, we tick it, we put a tally. Now, as you can see, we have got four tallies. The fifth tally will lie across these two. So it's going to be like this. Uh, it's supposed to touch uh, both uh, 
it should touch all the lines there i think i'll correct it then we come in the fifth law in the fourth law we check we have got 37 there we also put a tally here the sixth tally then we come down here we have got 35 i also put a tally there then we have also 32 i put a tally there as well okay now we are done as you can see there are eight tallies there now we come to between 40 and 45 so i take 40 between 40 and 49 so 40 i put a tally there then 42 i also put a tally there 46 i also put a tally here okay we come now in the second row we have got 40 i also put a tally there okay we come on the third row there's none on the fourth row we have got 48 i also put a tally now as you can see there are four so i'm going to put a tally that will be across the four uh, lines then we have 43 okay 43 there i take it i also put a tally here then i've got 43 another 43 in the same row okay the one of uh of ticked there then i also put a tally here then i come down here i've got 41 i take it i put also a tally there then 45 i take it and i put a tally there i hope you are following please if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section now let's go for 50 and between numbers which are between 50 and 59 okay so there on top we have got 57 i tick it with the orange tick there then i also write a tally here i come in the second row we have got 55 i tick it and i put a tally here and i also have 59 at the end there i tick it and a tally here so you can use any different way in which you can use to identify numbers if it's in an exam it's either by cancelling out what you have uh, the number you have to get you have got it you have got a note of you just uh, circle it or you cancel it but for me i've decided to use different colors because i'm using it for demonstration so that you don't get confused okay so we are on 59 then we come down here we check if in the third law if we have got any number which is between 50 and 59 nine in the fourth row we have got 57 there we tick it and we put a tally here and 51 at the end there we tick it and then we close a line there okay now the lines are not see, they are not well put so let me just try to collect it okay okay that's how the the line should be uh, they should close all the four lines to make it five they should close all the lines all the four lines to make it five okay then we check for anywhere in the fifth law if there is a number between 50 and 59 there is nine there is no number which is between 50 and 59 so we go to numbers that are between 60 and 69 so in the first column there is nine in the th second column there is also nine in the third column there is 62 so i'm going to tick 62 there then i'm also going to put a tally here in the fourth column we have nine but in the fifth we have 66 which is i'm going to tick that one 66 and also put a tally here now i've finished putting the tallies now the next thing i'm going to do is now i'm going to write the frequency so the frequency this is the number of time a certain um a class of number is appearing so we can say uh, numbers that are between 10 and 19 are 2 so we're going to put 2 there numbers between 20 and 29 they are 4 so we're going to write 4 there that's a frequency the numbers that are between 30 and 39 they are 8 so we're going to put 8 there numbers that are between 40 and 49 they are 9 so we're going to put 9 there Numbers that are between 50 and 59, they are 5, so I'm going to put 5 there. Numbers that are between 60 and 69, they are 2, so I'm going to put 2 there. So, uh, the, the, the total 
of the frequencies should match the number of learners. So the learners were told they are 30. So if we have done the work properly, that means we should get the total of 30. So 2 plus 4 will give us 6. 6 plus 8 will give us 14. 14 plus 9 will give us 23. 23 plus 5 will give us 28. 28 plus 2 will give us 30. So the total is 30. That means the, our uh, we, we, we have completed the, the frequency table well. Because the total of the frequency should match the number of learners. Okay. Now let's go to question number C2, which is what was the model class? Now, the model class we are talking about is the, the class of numbers that is appearing most. Okay. It's more like the mode. Okay. So the model class of this uh, state none information is in. Uh, the number that has got that is appearing the most now when you look at numbers that are appearing the most we have got numbers between 30 and 39 they are appearing eight times numbers between 40 and 49 they are appearing nine times these are the highest numbers so which means uh, nine is the highest uh, between uh, numbers between 39 30 and 39 and 40 and 49 so they are the biggest number is nine so that means uh, the model class is 40 to 49. Okay. Please, like I said earlier on, if you have got questions, you can ask in the comment section. Otherwise, let's go to the next question.